Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to learn how to track WhatsApp clicks for Google Analytics 4. So what we need to do is we need to register an event that is going to track how many times a user that comes to your website clicks to go to WhatsApp and start a conversation. This is the objective. First of all, what do we need to get started? We need two different tools. Number one, obviously, we need our Google Analytics 4. And number two, we need Google Tag Manager. If you are new in Google Analytics 4, you should know that in order to track events in the platform, you need to do so through this tool that is called Google Tag Manager. So job number one will be to set up Google Tag Manager if you haven't done this already. So you need to go to tagmanager.google.com. You need to create an account. You need to create a container. And job number one, you will need to go to install Google Tag Manager, copy the tracking code, follow the instructions, and install Google Tag Manager in every single page on your website. This is a prerequisite before we start the process of tracking a WhatsApp click. Now, let's assume that this is done. Let's say that we have a Google Tag Manager and it's already installed in the back of our website. What are the steps that we need to take? It's actually very easy. So we're going to get started with Google Tag Manager. So we are going to visit our Google Tag Manager and we're going to click on create a new tag. So we're going to click here that says tag. And we're going to give this tag a name. I'm going to name this WhatsApp clicks. There are two steps now that we need to take to track an event in Google Analytics 4. Step number one, the tag configuration. So we're going to click here on this box and we always need to select Google Analytics GA4 event. So we're going to go with the third option that says Google Analytics GA4 event. So we're going to click here and select the third option. If this is the very first time that you are creating an event for Google Analytics 4, what you will need to do is you will need to click here on the drop down menu and select manually set ID. So what we need to do is we need to insert a measurement ID of our Google Analytics 4 data stream. How can we find this measurement ID? It's very easy. We're going to go to our Google Analytics 4 account. Once you go to your Google Analytics 4 account, what you need to do is you need to go all the way on the bottom left and click on the gear icon that says admin. And once you click on admin, then what you need to do is you need to go and click on data streams in the middle column under property. So we are going to come here and click on data streams in the middle column. And we're going to click on our data stream. So after you click on your data stream, here we go. This is our measurement ID. The measurement ID is the unique identification number of your Google Analytics 4 data stream. So we're going to copy the measurement ID, go back to our tag manager and paste it here. That's it. One more time, you're going to access your Google Analytics 4, go to admin. Once you go to admin, you are going to select data streams. You're going to click on your data stream and then you're going to copy your measurement ID. And you're going to paste it here. So next, what we need to do is to name our event. Whatever name you type in in this box, this is exactly what you're going to see inside your Google Analytics 4. So if you go to your Google Analytics 4 and you look at any report and you go under, let's say, the events. So let me go here, for example, in the demo account, under traffic acquisition, under event count. Whatever name we type here, this is the name that we're going to see under this drop down list. Always name your events without leaving any space. So, what we can do here is we can say this is a WhatsApp underscore clicks. So, never leave space when you're creating event names. This is going to help you moving forward if you want to do more advanced things. 
that's 50% of the job. The next thing that we need to do, which is the most interesting one, is the triggering. What is the triggering? We need to say to the system when this event is happening. So we told the system we want to create an event for Google Analytics for, for this specific data stream. And we want to name this event WhatsApp Clicks. So now we're going to click on triggering. And we're going to create a new trigger. So we're going to click on the plus button here, new trigger. We're going to give it a name. We're going to name it WhatsApp Clicks. And we're going to click on trigger configuration. So in order to track this action, we need to select the right trigger type. And I'm going to go straight to the point. In order to track WhatsApp clicks, what you need to select is just links. Why just links? Because if the user comes on the website and clicks on this link, they are directed to WhatsApp. So they are directed to an external URL, which means that what we need to do is we need to say to the system that the trigger is just links. Just links is the trigger type that we use when we want to track an event that corresponds to an external URL. The user clicks and goes, leaves the website and goes externally. So we're going to select just links. And we're going to say some link clicks because we don't want to track every single link click on the website. We want to track the specific click that leads to our WhatsApp. How are we going to do that? We are going to say that the click URL, meaning the URL that the user is going to get redirected to after they click this button, is going to be, is going to contain this string of text here. Now we don't need to copy the entire, let's say URL. You can only copy if you want maybe a partial, let's say, URL, uh, a part of the URL, because you can say contains, or you can say equals, and you can copy the entire URL. It's up to you. This is just the condition. And that's it. Now we're going to save, and we are done. This is the configuration. So we said to the system, we want to create a Google Analytics for event with a name WhatsApp clicks that is going to live under a specific GA4 data stream. And it's happening when the user clicks on a link that goes to a specific URL. We're going to save the tag. And very important, don't forget to submit and publish your container. Because if we don't submit and publish our container, the changes are not going to be live. So how can we verify now that whatever we did actually works? Let's do that together. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Preview in our Tag Manager. And once we click on Preview, we're going to open the Tag Assistant, right? So the Tag Assistant is a tool that helps us understand what is happening behind the scenes in our website. We are going to copy our homepage or any page where the event is happening. We're going to click Connect. And now I'm going to have two tabs open in my screen. The first tab is going to be connected to the tag assistant, my page connected to the tag assistant. And the second tab is going to be my website connected to the tag assistant. Here we go. So what we need to do now is we need to come to this page that is connected to the tag assistant and take this action that we just set up an event for. So click here on this link. And then we need to go back to the tag assistant. And we can see on the left-hand side that we have a new instance of a link click. So when we basically click here on link click, we can already see under the tags fired that there is an event, a GA4 event that's fired, which is called WhatsApp clicks, which is exactly what we set up uh, right now together. So we are going to click here and we can see details why this event is firing because the user clicked on an element where the click URL contains a specific string of um, letters and numbers. That's it. So now we know that our event is working. Give it 24 hours because sometimes it takes a little bit of time for Google Analytics for 
to digest and absorb the changes. So maybe you can go ahead and create an event now, but the event is going to start showing up on your Google Analytics 4 in about 24 hours. So be a little bit patient. This is the way, however, that you can verify whether what you did is correct. So now we know that whatever we did is correct because this event is firing. Keep in mind now that when it comes to WhatsApp clicks, we can only track clicks from the website to this specific page here. The user will have to click continue to chat and then the user will have to type in a message. This is the maximum that we can track. We cannot track completed conversations. Why? Because this is a different URL that we don't own. It belongs to WhatsApp. So from our end, what we can do is we can measure how many people come to our website. And when they come to our website, they click to start the conversation. This is the event that we set up. That's it. This is how you can track WhatsApp clicks for Google Analytics 4. If you like this video, if you are able to do it and you learn how to track WhatsApp clicks for Google Analytics 4, please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. It will really help us to create more valuable content. Have a great day and see you in the next video.